Good afternoon to all of you. I am Tapos Devnath, Department of Botany from Barakpur Rashtaguru Shurandhanath College. Today I will discuss about pteridophyte. There is some characteristics, important characteristics feature of pteridophytes and the some important genera of pteridophyte. General characteristics features of pteridophyte. Distribution. Distribution, pteridophytes are distributed. There is that one is the terrestrial, aquatic, xerophytic, and epiphytic. Terrestrial pteridophyte is a grow on soil surface. Example that is the teres, chrysella, etc. Aquatic pteridophytes, these are the grow on aquatic media, the pond, lake, river, like Azola, Marsilia, these are the aquatic pteridophyte. Xerophytic, the grow on sand. So, example, Selaginella, Lepitophyta, Selaginella, Rupestis. Epiphytic pteridophyte, Ophioglossum, Vulgatum, and Lycopodium, Phlegmaria. Those are the epiphytic pteridophyte. Life forms. Very important is the life forms. One is the herbaceous annual and another is the perennial. Annual pteridophytes, the Azola, Salvinia, etc., etc., are the annual herbaceous pteridophyte. Then the perennial pteridophyte. Perennial trees, this is the perennial pteridophytic genera. Sathia is the most important perennial pteridophyte. This is known as tree fern. Next, the plant body of pteridophytes, this is the sporophytic plant body. Pteridophytes are non flowering seedless vascular plant. The major plant body is nutritionally depend on sporophyte which differentiated into root, stem and leaf. In case of the pteridophyte, the sporophytic generation the spo or the sporophytic plant body is the major plant body and grow diversely. The sporophyte develop from the diploid zygote. The stem is generally branched either dichotomous or monopodial two types of branching pattern is the important is the found in pteridophyte one is dichotomous and another is monopodial next this shows the branching pattern of pteridophyte one is dichotomous this is the dichotom dichotomous branching and another is the monopodial monopodial uh, is two type monopodial with lateral branching and monopodial with opposite branching pattern. This is the two important branching pattern the found in pteridophyte. Next, two type of leaves. This is the leaves. Leaves of pteridophyte is diverse. Two types of leaves are found in pteridophyte. One is the microphyllous or microphyllous leaf and another is megaphylus or mega um, megaphylus or megaphylus leaves microphylus leaves microphylus leaves these leaves are simple with a single unbranched mid vein it is the important is the single unbranched mid vein is found in Microphyllous leaf, the leaf trace is not associated with any leaf gap. Leaf trace is not associated with any leaf gap. Example, Lycopodium, Selaginella. Next, megaphyllous leaf, the leaves are large compound with dissected veins. The leaf trace is always associated with leaf gap. This is the basic difference between megaphyllous leaf and also microphyllous leaf. The basic difference, leaf gap and leaf trace and also mid vein. Teres and Maratria as the examples of megaphyllous leaf. 
नेक्स्ट द वास्कुलर सिस्टम वास्कुलर सिस्टम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द डाइवर्स वास्कुलर सिस्टम फाउंड इन टेडोफाइट बिकॉज द टेडोफाइट इज द फास्ट लैंड प्लांट वायर द वास्कुलर सिस्टम इज एपियर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वास्कुलर सिस्टम इज फाउंड प्रोटोस्टिलिक कंडीशन साइफोनोस्टिलिक कंडीशन एंड सोलोनोस्टिलिक कंडीशन एंड वट एवर but it is the interesting character the same teidophytic genus same teidophytic genus contain different kinds of stele different kinds of stele protostele siphonostele dictyostele and polycyclic stele both are the important stele structure is found in teidophyte xylotum Lycopodium shows the protostelic condition. Echoizetum marsilia shows the siphonostelic condition. Teres polypodium shows the dictyostelic condition. Polycyclic steel is found in Angiopteris and Merotia. The so some examples. reproduction of teidophyte it's also important the re reproduction of teidophyte the sporophytic plant body by means of the spore produce in the sporangia on the basis of the mode of development the sporo uh, sporangia are of two type this is the mode of development the sporangia are two type one is the eusporangiate and another is the leptosporangiate what is eusporangiate type the sporangia originate from a group of initial cell sporangia originate from a group of initial cell and the leptosporangiate the sporangia originate from a single initial lycopodium selaginella is the examples of eusporangia teidophyte and salvinia teres are the examples of leptosporangia teidophyte this picture shows the soral structure and the soral position of the teidophyte sorus sorus is known as the group of sporangia and covered by some time a covering is known as indusium and the sorus grow always or the maximum time grows on the abaxial surface of the leaf next to the type of sorus in some fern the sporangia are aggregated in the cluster termed sori singularly it is known as sorus on the basis of maturity of the sporangia the sorus are three type one is simple sorus second is graded sorus and third is mixed sorus what is simple sorus a sorus in which all the sporangia originate and grow and mature at the same time is the simple sorus graded sorus here the sporangia developed over a period of time where the central part of the sorus has mature sporangia and the peripheral part has the young sporangia the development there is a gap of the development time make sorus here the mature here the sorus mature and immature sporangia of different ages are arranged in a irregular fashion this is the diagrammatic representation of the development of the sora structure on the leaf of teidophyte one is the simple middle position shows the graded and the last it shows the mixed type of development of sorus in the sporangia spores the important spore is the unit of asexual reproduction the spore on the basis of spore type 
pteidophytes are divided into two types. One is the homosporous and another is the heterosporous. Homosporous type, homosporous pteidophyte, all spores are equal in size. It is known as the homosporous pteidophyte. And another, the two types of sporangia, that is that morphologically different size of the spore found in the pteidophytic species that is known as the heterosporous pteidophyte. Lycopodium and equisetum as the examples of homosporous pteidophyte and another the selaginella, azola, salvinia are the heterosporous pteidophyte. This is sporangia, sporangium is the important structure important asexual reproductive structure that carry the reproductive unit a sporangia has a slender multicellular um, multi stalked and a body called capsule the capsule is over or the circulate and the flat end on the two lateral side like a biconvex lens the capsule wall is single, layered, and composed of thin wall cells. This is a ring of the special cells in a wall that run around the capsule along the median edge. A major part of the ring is formed by the annulus, which is the cell have the very thick inner wall. The remaining part of the ring is called the stomium region. It is formed by a large thin walled uh, delicate cells. The sporangia, last of all, the sporangia produced and the sporan structure of sporangia contain the one is the stalk cell and another is the capsule. Capsule contain one is annulus and another is the stomium cell. This is shows the spore of the pteidophyte under scanning electron microscope. Under scanning electron microscope, the pteidophytic spores are shows and shows the aperture. The middle position shows the trilit aperture and monolith. And sometimes it's found the aperture less spore in pteidophyte. Next, the asexual reproduction. The process of asexual reproduction. As started earlier, this take place by the spore formation. Spores are produced in sporangia which develop in sori. And the next is the liberation of the spore. The spores are liberated from the capsule when the stomia mature. This sporangia, this capsule will breaks in the region of the stomium and the spores are liberated through the opening. This is the main phenomenon of the liberation of sporangia and also it is called the mechanism, the liberation of sporangia. Clear? Next, development of gametophytic plant body. Gametophytic plant body, the, the spore germinate on the form a haploid gametophyte or prothally. The gametophyte are small and inconspicuous as compared to the sporophyte. In case of pteidophyte, sporophytic plant body is the larger, many times larger than the gametophytic plant body. According to basis of gametophytic development, pteidophyte are two types. One is the exosporic and another is the endosporic according to the development of the spore. Exosporic pteidophyte, siloterm, lycopodium are the exosporic pteidophyte, solaginella isoites are the endosporic pteidophyte. Next, anthrodium and archegonium. The anthrodium is a sessile or the shortly stalked globular structure surrounded by a well-defined jacket initial containing androcyte or anthrozoid mother cell. Each androcyte gives rise to a single and motile anthrozoite. 
the archegony is the flagship structure contain, contain some kinds of cell one is the covert cell at the apex of the neck and is the neck neck cell ventral cell neck canal cell and ventral canal cell and also contain the important part this is the egg this is the egg and both the anthridia and archegonia are found in the gametophytic thallus found in the body of gametophytic thallus sexual reproduction sexual reproduction uh, takes place in the haploid gametophytic generation and moves and involves the formation of specialized male and female sex organ one is the anthridia and another is the archegonia anthridium this is the male sex organ anthridium develops on the lower surface of the prothallus in the region of posterior margin among the rhizoid this is the anthridium developed from the lower position of the prothallus anthridia developed from the lower position of the prothallus anthridia contain the apical cell and also jacket jacket is the protective layering jacket is the protective layering uh, each one has a spirally coiled body of the many flagella this is the anthro anthridia produce the anthrozoid 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 has a, a different uh, different uh, uh, flagella that's the that's why the anthrozoids are moved uh, in the water uh, at the time of the fertilization archegonia archegonia is the female sex organ archegonia develop towards the lower surface of the prothallus is the cushion region each anthrodium is sessile uh, sessile with a flag shaped body it is differentiated into the neck of the mature archegonia opens in presence of water the ventral canal cell and the neck canal cell the ventral canal cell and the neck canal cell disintegrate at the time of fertilization first of all archegonia contain different kinds of cell in different kinds of cell one is covert cell another is neck cell ventral cell and the neck canal cell and also ventral canal cell is the present at the time of fertilization the in ventral canal cell and the neck canal cell both are disintegrate why both are disintegrate at that time the sperm is enter into the archegonia and then fertilize the egg is the total phenomenon of the fertilization procedure in teidophyte this structure shows the archegonia and the above anthridia anthridia produce the anthrozoite multiflagellated anthrozoite and the anthrozoite liberated from anthridia and the archegonia and then the archegonia this is the position where the fertilization takes place the disintegration of the ventral canal cell and neck canal cell and then the sperm and or the anthrozoid is enter in the archegonia fertilization fertilization the disintegration of neck canal cell and a uh, canal cell and also produce the mucilaginous substance which contain the organic compounds like the malic acid and fumaric acid this substance act as the uh, sperm um, attractant where the essential for the fertilization the sperm swim over a thin film of water and attach the chemotactically towards the archegonia as i Above, um, earlier she says the anthrozoid and the egg fuse to form a diploid zygote which is the mother cell of the sporophytic generation 
many anthrozoids may enter the open anthro archegonia however only one fertilize the egg and this total phenomenon is known as chemotactically movemented phenomenon this, is the, uh, this phenomenon occur uh, and the stage like a chemotactic uh, mechanism next embryo the embryo embryo is developed after the fertilization the zygote undergoes the repeated division into to form embryo for the further development of embryo result in the well developed sporophytic membrane differentiated into root stem and leaves according to polarity the embryo may be categorized into two types one is the exosporic embryo and another is the endosporic embryo this is the development and the of the polarity according to the polarity this is the one is the exoscopic and another is the endoscopic alternation of generation is the very important the sporophyte and the gametophytic generation in the fern are the produce in alternate succession one after the other this phenomenon is called alternation of generation meiosis and the gamete fertilization at the two important event which regulate this phenomenon as the sporophyte the fern plant that is and the gametophyte prothallus are morphologically dissimilar it is the disable as a heteromorphic alternation of generation alternation of generation this is the circulatory phenomenon of to gametophytic generation to sporophytic generation and sporophytic generation to gametophytic generation in pteridophyte the sporophytic generation ends when the diploid spore mother cell divided by meiosis and produce haploid spore the spore start uh, start the gametophytic generation this generation ends when the haploid gametes fuse during the fertilization form a diploid zygote this is the two main event found in the alteration of generation one is the fertilization that is the formation of the zygote twin formation then the reduction division this is the meiosis is occur then this is the converted into two n into n cell life cycle of pteridophytes is the representation of life cycle of pteridophytes and it shows the total alternation of generation and shows the sporophytic plant body and also gametophytic plant body next life cycle of homospora pteridophyte and life cycle of heterospora pteridophyte both are differ from the spore type and the size of the spore life cycle of homospora pteridophyte it is in case of the homospora pteridophyte pteridophyte develop the same kinds of the spore and the spore germinate to produce the gametophytic plant body and heterospora sporophyte or the heterospora uh, pteridophyte uh, life cycle of heterospora pteridophyte so the produce the two kinds of the spore there is the according to their size two kinds of the spore one is the microspore and another is the megaspore microspore and megaspores are both are pr produce the gametophytic plant body both are produce the gametophytic plant body next this is the schematically representation of the life cycle of a fern showing alternation of generation this is the schematically representation this is the helpful for the student uh, to understand this uh, according to the words next the identification of uh, introduction to the identification of fern introduction to the identification of fern on the basis of morphological viewpoint on the basis of morphological viewpoint ferns are identified by the different uh, structural morphological view one is the rhizome this is the one is the type of rhizome second is the type of uh, pinna or the type of leaf structure the 
स्पोर्ट्स स्पोर्ट्स सिंपल्स कॉम्पाउंड स्पोरंजिया आर द कॉम्पाउंड एंड सिंपल आर द लीफ ऑफ द इज द कॉम्पाउंड एंड सिंपल्स आल्सो फाउंड दैट इज द लीफ इज नोन एज पिनेटिफाइड लीप्स देन द स्केल हियर आर ग्लैंड्स स्पोरंजिया and the uh, spore fertile or the sterile pores these are the important um, characteristics feature to identify the fern at the time of laboratory um, used and the also time of the field visit also next we move on the identification of some pteridophytic genera i hope this is the helpful for the student is the helpful for the student to identification of pteridophytic plant at the time of the field work and or the excursion period but first of all this is the xylotum xylotum is known as the wick sponge is the commonly known this is the xylotum uh, plant body is the rootless leafless dichotomously branched sporophyte type aerial shoots with the rudimentary scale leaves and having the terminal or the lateral sporangia presence of simple vascular supply that is the steely that is the protostely condition sporangia is the three lobed and the closely um, closely um, by a minute the fog the foliar appendages sporangia is the three lobed this is known as the syningia it is the main important structure of the sporangia this is the aggregate uh, the three sporangia are aggregated into to form a syningia it is the important uh, structure of the xylotum it is the taxonomy marker also next is the mesipteris mesipteris is known as the hanging fork fern mesipteris in the in the mesipteris mesipteris the maximum it is the epiphytic uh, uh, found in the epiphytic condition and the uh, reproductive structure is the bilobed structure bilobed syningias found in case of xylotum the found the trilobes syningia and it is in case of the mesipteris found the bilobed syningia in uh, this uh, the mesipteris is the restricted to the certain land in the south pacific north bay australia new zealand and new caledonia in the new uh, new zealand this uh, hanging the epiphyte is the common in the warm temperate rainforest of the both the main iceland why it can the normally be found as the short spike dark green form of uh, fonts often with the light bag like the sporangia at the base of the sum uh, sum of its leaves clear next this is the lycopodium it is the very common pteridophytic genera this is the known as the club moss the very common like um, pteridophytic genera uh, found in the hilly region uh, found in hilly region and this is the maximum diversified growth in the hilly region specifically um, himalayan uh, region the eastern himalaya the plant body differentiated into shoot with the stem leaf and root plant plant body herbaceous leaves microphyllous stem with the protostelic condition strobily at the terminal part of the aerial branches and the leaves Ligu uh, e-ligulate is the taxonomic marker. The leaves is the e-ligulate. The, the ligule is absent. The sporophyte the uh, smaller in the size than the vegetative leaves, and the sporangia developed at the apex of the sporophytic plant body. This is the like a club-shaped structure. That's why it is known as the club mosses. selaginella the lesser club mosses uh, selaginella selaginella sporophyte differentiated into leaf stem and also roots leaves microphyllous each sporophyll bears the one axial sporangia 
leaves distinctly ligulate. This is the main basic difference from Selaginella and or with Lycopodium. In case of the Lycopodium, um, leaves is the illegulated and in case of the Selaginella, leaves is the ligulated. The presence of TB, uh, <coughs> tuberculate uh, endodermal zone in the stem axis, two types of subsporangia with the sporophyte, microsporangia with many microspores and megasporangia with a few megaspores are found. <coughs> Next, this is the isoitis, uh, <coughs> presence of the well differ, uh, differentiated plant body, leaves microphyllus with the single median veins, stem protostelic comb like with a long stiffy shaped leaves. Marshy or the aquatic plant, sporangia situated at the basal expanded portion of the fertile leaf, this is the heterosporous. It is a, normally it is grow the aquatic place or the aquatic area. Then the equisitum. It is known as the hot steel. Equisitum is known as the hot steel. Sporophyte differentiated into leaf, stem, and also root. The same things. Stem joint with the rough uh, texture, presence of rigid and ridges and the furrow on the stem. It is the important characteristic feature that is the found in hot steel. Presence of ridges and furrow on the stem presence of sunken stomata in the furrow, sunken stomata, it is the xerophytic nature, is the found in the xerophytic plant body, it is a sunken stomata is found in uh, equisitum also, it shows the xerophytic character, some xerophytic character, uh, strawberry developed on the fertile shoot apex, sporangiophore bears the 5 to 10 pelted sporangia. Pelted sporangia is the important character, the, uh, like a umbrella shaped sporangiophore with sporangia is the found in the equisitum genera. Ophioglossum, ophioglossum adhered strong fern, the plant body differentiated into rhizometer stem, leaf and roots, absence of sarcinate venation de developing leaf. It is the Fern genera where the sarcinate venation is not found. The sarcinate venation of the young leaf, it is the characteristic, important characteristic feature of fern. They found all kinds of fern, uh, uh, sporophytic plant body of fern, but it is devoid of the some genera. One is the ophioglossum where the sarcinate venation is absent. Leaf simple, entire or deeply lobed with reticulate venation, sporangia ag aggregated into a simple unbranched spike, that is the reproductive part is known as the spike, it is the found at the apex. Sporangia embedded on the sterile tissue of the spike, sporangia embedded on the sterile tissues of the spike. Next, botrytium. Moonwarts, the plant body differentiated into rhizometer stem, leaf and also root, absence of sarcinate varnishan of the developing leaf. <coughs> Leaves compound, pinnate, sporangifera spike branched with the sporangia into two rows on the terminal branches. In, um, it shows the similarities with uh, Ophioglossum that is the absence of sarcinate venation of the developing leaf, the similarities. Next, Ligodium, it is very important, the Ligodium is the known as the climbing fern because Ligodium is the only one genera where the climb, the, these are the climbing fern, only one genera, climbing fern, they are the climbing fern, the plant body differentiated into rhizometer stem, leaf and also roots. 
presence of homo, uh, plants uh, homospora that is the produce the same kinds of spore this is the morphologically same kinds of that is the size also uh, leaf megaphylas and the pinnate sporangia covered by a flap like growing growth on the leaf this is the indusium 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 is the present but indusium is, indusium is the different from the other species of the pteridophyte indusium is the covered in indusium is the covering of the uh, sorus sporangia developed uh, developed in the spike and do not uh, develop sorry cup like annulus present next glycinia glycinia is a plant body differentiated into rhizometa stem leaf and root leaf megaphylas pinnately compound stem rhizometas long creeping with with a scaly and scaly and hairs so the scales and hairs also found in the rhizometous stems scales basically and the generally is the multicellular scale the found in the stem sporangia sporangia is the without induciate and with the oblique annulus is the important genus identifying character the oblique annulus and without inducia is the ex induciate sathya the tree fern is the important genera of the pteridophyte fight the tree fern is the look like a big tree plant body differentiated into rhizometa stem leaf and root tree like appearance that's why it is known as the tree fern the leaf a uh, leaf megaphylas pinnately branch mono uh, monomorphic that is the morphologically same stem and the petiole bearing only scale sorry with the long paraphyses the indusiate and the spores tetrahedral globose trilit and the surface is verrucated next hymenophyllum is the hymenophyllum the plant body also it is differentiated rhizome stem rhizometa stem leaf and roots is the same the leaf megaphylas pinnately low pinnate pinnate lobed and the homosporas this fern is the homosporas stem long creeping sporangia in the sori on the ventral side of the leaf indusium is the bivalve it is the genus identifying character that is the indusium is the bivalve it is the important character next the plant body differentiated into rhizometa stem leaf and root also it is the chilenthas uh, sometime it is known as the silver fern uh, leaf megaphylas pinnate sporangia in the sori on the ventral side of the leaf sori ex induciate is the indu that is the induces is the absent marginal at the apex of the vein tips non paraphyseated in the spore surface ornamented spore surface is the ornamented spore surface uh, crusted and the reticulated or the verrucous this is the uh, ornamentation type of the spore plant body differentiated into rhizometa stem leaf and roots is the pteris is the common pteridophyte is the found the wall here of, of the india and uh, it is the uh, pteris uh, pteris the stem surface covered with the scales leaf megaphylas pinna long with marginal sorry sorry without true indusium it is the genus identifying character sorry protected by leaf margin annulus oblique the uh, spore tra tetrahedral trilit surface reticulated in case of the pteris indusium is uh, absent but the indusium is the, that is the false indusium is the present true indusium is absent the false indusium is the present 
because the leaf margin is expanded to form a indusium like structure. Ceratopteris, plant body is differentiated into rhizomatous stem leaf and also root leaf gametomegaphylus and 1 to 2 pinnate dimorphic sporangia aggregated mostly on the leaf margin as sori, plant homosporus, sori induciate marginal. Uh, margin of the fertile, uh, fertile segment uh, monophyte as a indusium um, sporangia distinct on the veins of the unipinnate fertile lamina, unipinnate fertile lamina, marshalia. This is the aquatic pteridophyte. Marshalia is known as shushni, this is the aquatic pteridophyte uh, used as a vegetable. Uh, sometimes it is used as a vegetable. The plant body differentiated into rhizometer stem, leaf and also root sporangia aggregated mostly on the leaf margin. margin. Uh, as sorry, the stem uh, creeping slender off on the branched and the rooted in the sorry leaf megaphylas protostylic when uh, dichotomously uh, anastomosing at the tip. Sorry, born within the sporocarp, sporocarp hard, flat, um, stalked. It is the um, important feature of the genus identifying characters is the sporocarp. Heteros, uh, the heteros, this is the heterosporous fern um, leaflets at the apex of the petioles and the leaflets is the four in number. It is the genus identifying character, leaflets is the four in number. Salvinia, this is the also water fern, aquatic fern, um, plant body differentiated, also rhizometer stem, leaf and roots, sporangia aggregated mostly on the leaf margin as a sorry, leaf megaphylus development in the holes of the three, two board, uh, board form uh, floating with anastomosing vein on submerged, leaf bearing mega and Microsporangia. This is the heterosporous fern, the bearing, the mega and microsporangia. Plant uh, free floating is the sporocarp contain only one kind of sporangia, micro and also mega. Next, azola. It is the common azola. Uh, it is the uh, nitrogen fix fixing fern known as because uh, anabina is the of algae, cyanobacterian algae is uh, grow on the lower surface of the leaf of the azola. Plant body differentiated into rhizometer stem, leaf and root, sporangia aggregated mostly on the leaf margin as the sori, leaf megaphylus developed in the two rows of the leaves, densely packed in the over lapping um, manner on the rhizometer stem, leaves alternate bilobed long. A plant free floating is the sporocarp contain only one kind of sporangia, micro and also mega. Sporocarp dimorphic because the two types of sporocarp is found. Thank you. The for important uh, view of the pteridophyte and it is a helpful for CC4, that is a core course 4 student in the semester 2. Thank you.